you beautiful people. Hallelujah. It's almost time to go home. My camera where the picture's taken looks cloudy. Maybe something's on. I don't know. We'll just make it. No, that makes even whatever. Anyways, I'm coming on here real quick. My husband's kind of pissed off in a way. He's been working like an animal the last week or so. And he went real early at 5 o'clock in the morning with a friend a day ago to get some kind of new truck his friend got, right? He just went there to help him and everything. They had three flat tires on the way back. That's crazy town. And his other friend found out and he wants to take a car part back to Ohio to I forget where he says it's somewhere around three or four hours away my husband don't want to go because he's dead tired he's he just got done working on our neighbor's car at eight o'clock at night outside and it's cold and he's doing it because the other friend said well you went with your other friend when he needed something well they're like fighting over him like he's a woman or something it's the funniest thing they're all good guys, so my husband's going because he wants to be a good friend to him because he's a good friend of my husband. He's a wonderful man, and uh, they're funny, but so I go, great, I'm not going to see you, and I got to work on Thanksgiving. He goes, I'll see him all day Wednesday, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to go all out cooking, and I'm going to show you guys tomorrow. I figured I got a big ham in my refrigerator. I'm making ham and scalp potatoes and some kind of vegetables tomorrow. Maybe Brussels, probably Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. I got to get some tomorrow at the store. Then on Wednesday, I'm making all the Thanksgiving dinner. You know, turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, the whole nine yards, green bean casserole, sweet potatoes. I got rolls, stuffing, and I'm going to make a cherry cheesecake. Oh, my God. And then I'm going to freeze some of those and make homemade frozen TV dinners, ham ones, and then turkey ones. And my husband goes, don't you give it all to them cats. Oh, damn, yeah, I'm giving them cats some turkey and ham. They're having a Thanksgiving, too. They are not forget forgotten my cats. Oh, no, they won't be. So, and he just bought, like, a 40-can thing of cat food. It was 40 bucks. He goes, you're at least paying me for half of it. It was 40 bucks, and it is. It's expensive, almost $40. I go, all right, I'll pay you half back for that. Um, but I got smart. I'm going to put my turkey, if I can, my green bean casserole, and my sweet potato casserole, and tinfoil things so I don't have to wash those three items. I got to give myself a cut of break somewhere for myself. You see what I'm saying? Because it just gets to be too much. I might try to get a round one, too, and put the cheesecake in the pie. So then I can throw that away when it's done, too. I'm, so I'm going to probably look out for that. So i got to go to a couple stores in the morning, which is all right. And I'm going dumpster diving at Dollar General. Hopefully I'll find some stuff. I might go to, since my husband's going to be gone, take an hour for myself and hit a couple Dollar Generals and CVS and go while I can. And that's what I'm going to do to see what I can find. Then I'm going to come back. And the ham's easy to make. You're just heating the ham up for an hour in the oven. And then I'm making all the sides with it. And I might make, uh, like I said, the... Oh, my neck. The um, cherry cheesecake tomorrow, maybe. And I got to clean out the refrigerator and get it ready so that all that food can go in there. And I'm not cooking no more this week. I'm not. Not till Saturday or Sunday. And that's it. And I'm going to put what I can away and then, yeah, do what I can do. But I just wanted to come on here and say, you know, I got to work Thanksgiving. And I'm just grateful that I got a job and I like my company and I'm not complaining or anything. And, um... Just come on here and wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. But I'll be on here tomorrow to show you the, some, some of the food I'm making tomorrow. I'll show you the food I'm making on Wednesday for Thanksgiving. Because i got to make it on Wednesday. And I will also... I'm telling you, i got to crack my neck. 
and, and, and see if I find anything in the dumpsters tomorrow. So I'm going to take like an hour out for myself and hit two or three dollar generals and a CVS or two and see what I can find dumpster dive and also tomorrow too. It's a good thing. So it gives me, my husband wouldn't say anything anyways. I can do whatever I want. But, you know, it just, I always feel pressured. And that's just how I am. I got to do this, got to do that. Pfft. I, I'll be fine either way. I love you all. And I'm going to show you guys every step away. I'm going to have a little, like, a little, what is that called? A little, like, a relish tray. I'm going to have black olives, green olives, and maybe cut up a couple pickles on there because it's just me and him. And maybe a couple pieces of celery with some regular cream cheese for him. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just try to make everything really nice. And I'm going to make some deviled eggs, too. And, yeah, I said, might as well. I'm going to ask him, but I know he's going to say, yeah, I want them. Because they're good. They're so good when I make them. They're really good. I'll make about 20 of them, 25. But I love you guys. Tell me what you guys are doing in the next couple of days. How are you guys preparing? Does anybody else got to work for Thanksgiving like I do? And how are you? Are you making, I'm making all my food the day before and good food tomorrow. Are you, anybody doing that? I mean, I've had to do this years ago and other, you know, my other job, it's just, you gotta, you gotta conform to whatever you gotta do in life. That's just how life is. Let me know if any of you have to make your food early or later because of Thanksgiving or what you are making on Thanksgiving. I love to hear your stories. Chime in. I almost got 2,000 people. I want to hear from you. What's your Thanksgiving like? What do you got to do for it? Let me know. I love you all. Remember, your sons of bitches, we're all in this together. I'd love to have a giant Thanksgiving and have all 2,000 of you guys there. Everybody bring one little thing. That would be awesome. But I want to know how is your Thanksgiving and what do you got to do to prepare for it. And I'm going to show you along my way steps of what I'm making and doing. Love you all. Like and subscribe. Don't forget. Or I'll break your kneecaps like misery. Love you all. Bye.